What is going on guys? Greggles TV, the 20th update for the Nvidia Shield has just come out. You're probably like, how do you know it's the 20th update? They told me that's that's how I know. But anyways, the 20th update come out. It pushed it now to Shield Experience 7.1. So if you have an Nvidia Shield, go into your settings and check for this update if it hasn't already notified you. But anyways, it comes with some pretty cool stuff. Some of those things are in-game voice chat support. So now you'll be able to play GE Force Now games like Fortnite or PUBG or some other multiplayer game. And you can connect the headset to the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the Shield controller and talk back and forth. Also, you get improved keyboard and mouse support in GE Force Now. It's smoother, more accurate, better mouse movements, keyboard shortcuts, keyboard and mouse games now. Also, more day and date releases including Monster Hunter World and F1 2018 and the upcoming release of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now let's talk about the thing that came back in this update, Android 7.1, that is making its triumphant return, and that is NVIDIA Share. And I think a lot of people miss this. To uh, enable it, go into Settings. Then what you want to do next is go all the way down, or actually you want to go to System. So we'll hit System. And then from here you'll see NVIDIA Share. And uh, just turn that on, and it tells you Hold Home Button to access. So when I press and hold my Home Button, you're gonna see it, let me go back to the home screen. I press and hold that home button. It brings up this, I can do instant replay, I can turn that on. I can record my screen if I want. I can broadcast and when I broadcast, um, it'll let me broadcast to uh, different things such as Twitch. You can take a screenshot now. So if you wanted to take a quick screenshot of that, just press that and then it would save to your photos. And it's an easy way to take a screenshot. So all that stuff is back. I know it was definitely missed. A lot of people are complaining about this kind of stuff. Um, you can turn on uh, and make enabled for next recording of broadcast. Um, you can do chat enabled for the next broadcast. You can also go in here and go into the Twitch, set, Twitch settings, change quality, uh, instant replay, status, all that kind of stuff. Again, this is back. Awesome, so happy this is back. Next up, if you long press the back button, you're now able to bring up the settings and you can turn this to sleep, restart, and power off. There's also now support for 120 hertz display modes for supported uh, TVs and monitors. And then there is also uh, accessory firmware versions for the Shield controller 2017 and 2015, Shield Remote uh, 2017, and the Shield Remote Rechargeable. So there you guys go, NVIDIA Shield Experience 7.1, available right now, so go check your NVIDIA Shields. And uh, a lot of cool updates in 20th update thus far. If you want to pick an NVIDIA Shield up, buy one, I will link it down below to so make it easy for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you down the road. Peace!